Hi guys. Oh, my camera is falling. Give me one second. These are the Palominos. The living room is clean, but there wasn't really much to do except for But the weather is literally taking a turn. It's officially Friday. Time to go home. Hi guys. Oh, my camera is falling. Give me one second to adjust this bad boy. Okay. Hi guys. Happy Friday. Um, we are back for another vlog. Consistency. Ew. Anyway, happy Friday. It is currently 4-12. I just got back home from work. I had to stop by the Amazon Hub Locker and pick up some stuff that I was sent. And y'all, this is probably one of the biggest PR packages I have ever received. And I am just so excited. Um, I have to record something for Instagram for the PR package. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come right back and show you guys what's in it. But it's from Bonza. Love their pasta. I eat it every week. Okay. So when they reached out to me, they were like, we want to send you our new product for you to review. I was like, me? Little old me? sure so this is it it's the bonza waffles waffles and they use egg white protein and i think they use avocado oil <sighs> i'm so excited anyway i'll be right back actually i have another package but this is something that i ordered it was not sent to me for free um where are my scissors okay. I ordered new waist beads because my current waist beads do not stay on my waist. They actually roll down. Like, I could roll them down my thigh if I wanted. So, I went on Etsy and I ordered some waist beads. I don't know if you guys can see these beautiful colors. So, I ordered some waist beads from Etsy and they shipped them really fast. I will put the link for the page or for the seller, the storefront that I bought from, but these are absolutely beautiful. I got mainly blue colors. I don't know if you guys can really see this, but okay, this is better. So I got a lot of blue colors and my hope is that they fit my waist. It should, yeah, this is, this is long and then she gave some extra, so it should. I'm going to put them on tonight after I work out. But yeah, that's all. I actually have another package, but we'll, we'll open that up later. I don't really think I'm going to record my workout because I'm doing the same workout that I did last week. I'm currently in a program. I don't change my workouts for 13 weeks because it works and because I get my coach to write it for me. So we're going to go to the gym, but I'm not going to record it to upload it. We're just going to go to the gym and then come back home. But anyway, that's a lot of rapping. That's a lot of talking. I'm about to put these waffles away and then, yeah, I will see you guys in a couple hours. All right, I feel a little bit better. I took my nap, I took almost an hour, just about 45 minutes. It is 6.16, so I am about to change out of, I literally have on my nightgown. I'm about to change out of this, put on my gym clothes, and then head to the gym, because the way it looks outside, ignore how bright this is, because I had to like change up my lighting, because it's a little dark in my apartment, but it looks like shit outside. It looks like it's going to rain. Oh, this looks so much better. Oh my goodness. It looks like it's going to start raining. I don't know why though, but it looks like it's about to start pouring and I don't want to be driving while it's doing that. So I'm going to go put on my gym clothes and head to the gym. Because even if it starts raining while I'm at the gym, that's better than me being on the road. Because people in the DMV, they don't know how to drive in the rain. That's all. Okay, so it is definitely raining. 
you can't really see it much, but it is coming down. Am I still gonna go to the gym? Absolutely, because if there's one thing I know about my area after living here for almost a year, it stops. Last time I missed the gym and it literally stopped like five minutes after I said I wasn't gonna go work out. So I'm going to the gym. But this is a sign that fall is coming and y'all, I am so excited. I'm ready for fall. I am ready for fall. I just came back from the gym and it is currently 11.43. Going to the gym after a certain time because my gym is so far from where I live just doesn't make any sense. But this was my last workout of the week and I had to get it done because I was not trying to go to the gym tomorrow or Sunday to make it up. Um, the weather is going to be terrible this weekend so everything that I had planned has to change. I was going to get my car washed. I was going to go out and have brunch with some friends. But because of the weather, mm -mm. so I'm about to hop in the shower, do my whole skincare routine, get in bed. And then tomorrow is just probably just going to be a day of like cleaning and resetting the house. Um, I may, no, not, I may. I'm going to go to the movie and watch the new Equalizer movie. And I'm probably going to stop and get some crabs. Because summer is literally about to end and I have not had any crabs. And that's not okay. Especially living in Maryland, like what? So I'm probably going to do that and just chill for the rest of the day. But I just wanted to show my face on here before I go night night because child, I am exhausted. I am tired, okay? Being a woman is hard. You guys know exactly why I said that. Being a woman is hard. You know, you don't have energy around that time of the month when your period is coming. You don't have energy when you're ovulating. It's just like, bruh, where, where do you want me to get the energy from? I'm tired. I'm so tired. And then my house is a mess. It's like I clean every week and it just it just gets worse and worse. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. So I put on my new Waze's. Um, I added three to my two that were remaining and then the two that I had remaining, I retied them to bring them above my love handles. The goal is for these to drop by the end of the year. So they are currently like above my belly button and sitting on my love handles. Um, so my goal, because we have our annual family like reunion in December, I'm hoping by the time we all meet, like these drop. Like I need them to drop. I've lost a lot of weight around like a lot of fat around my love handles, but I still have a significant amount to lose. So this is going to be like a really good way for me to track that progress. So I'm excited. Um, I just got to remember that they're sitting pretty high, which means the chances of me popping them greatly increases. So we need to work on getting them down. Um, I'm about, I am about to go do my one hour of cardio um, before it gets super busy in the gym downstairs. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this. It is Saturday, September 9th. I have a lot of cleaning to do once I am done. So when I finish, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a little reset. I am watering my plant babies because it was that time. I watered this one last night and it finished draining. So I put it back in its pot. I'm currently watering. This is called this is Monty. That is his name. My siblings and I decided to name um, him Monty. So I'm watering him right now. I'm going to drain his pan and move him when I come back from the gym. But yeah, everybody is getting taken care of today. This is Penelope. I think I have to add soil into her pot because it's really not much at all. Like I ran out of soil when I was repotting her after buying her. I think I need to repot this plant and I also need to name it. I don't have a name for this plant. This plant I bought for my birthday, like a gift to myself. And let's just say Amazon really played me because this plant is so damaged. Now I'm not gonna abandon it. I'm gonna keep it and obviously give it some TLC. But Amazon really played me because why would you send me a plant like this? Like, why would you, What what is this? Like, why would you send me something that looks like this? Like, look at this. It's it's so damaged, but it's okay. I am going to take care of it. I think I need to repot it because I don't know what this is. 
Um, so I'm probably going to do some repotting tomorrow. Not today, but tomorrow since I watered it today. And yeah, that's all for today for now. And then I'm probably going to go get crabs and watch the Equalizer movie later on tonight. But until then, I am going to go do my cardio. I'm not looking forward to this. By the time I get to like 45 minutes of walking, I'm already over it. And then just the thought that I have another 15 minutes to go is just like, what the hell? But I'm going to do it though. Because I feel like the closer I get to my goal weight for the year, the harder it's going to be for me to really get my body to drop this weight. And I can't really make excuses. And I'm currently making excuses. So I'm going to take my butt to the gym and I will check on you guys when I come back see you in an hour and some change because i think i'm also going to stretch while i'm in the gym because my hip flexor is killing me it's been hurting for like two and a half weeks and i don't know what i did to it so i'm going to try and um stretch and foam roll once i finish walking but yeah see you guys in a little bit all right you guys i am about to start cleaning the apartment <laughs> We're gonna start in the kitchen and in the dining area. This is what we're looking like. It's not horrible, but it's bad. So, yeah, let's go. kitchen area is clean i am about to get this counter together the island and then also get those shoes together because normally when i wear my shoes during the week i don't um, bring them any further into the house until i sanitize and clean them so i need to do that um, my living room never really gets messed up because i don't spend enough time in the living room for it to be messed up thankfully so I'm gonna clear off the island, probably put a load of laundry in the washing machine because I have at least two loads to do. And then I'm gonna take care of the shoes. I also have some boxes that I have to open, some more things that I ordered. We're still working on the budgeting, okay? We're still working on it. We're gonna get better, but let's handle this. Alexa, play. about to be 12 o'clock two minutes to 12 and I'm really hungry so I am about to take a break from cleaning and make a late breakfast slash brunch because my stomach is touching my back so I think I'm gonna have the waffles that I got yesterday from Bonza and then I'm gonna have some scrambled eggs along with it just to give me some extra protein and I'm also probably gonna add a sausage to it just for extra protein again High protein, today's my high carb day, so I try to eat my carbs with as much protein as possible just to make sure my glycemic index does not spike. So if you didn't know, pair your carbs with a protein and it'll protect you, okay? Okay, so I'm done cooking. I made egg whites with one whole egg, a chicken sausage, and then I have two low carb waffles from Bonza. I haven't tried it yet. And then I'm also adding guacamole because I need extra fiber. And then obviously a big old cup of coffee. I'm gonna sit down and eat so I don't over, like, 
If I stand up, I tend to eat too fast, but if I'm sitting down, I get to like really savor my food and eat slowly. Another tip, sit down and eat. All right, so living room is clean, but there wasn't really much to do except briefly off the couch, um, wipe off the coffee table, and that's about it. College football is on, so I tuned into that while I'm cleaning because I'm trying to get into college football. I love the NFL, but I'm also trying to get into college football, so I'm watching Colorado play right now, and then we are going to tackle that after I tackle that, um, my shoes. Okay, so to sanitize my shoes, I normally just spray them with Lysol. And then these are the quick wipes that I use to quickly clean my shoes if they're not really soiled. And my shoes are not really dirty because I don't walk like a child. So I'm just going to sanitize them. because I barely eat bread. I mean, I do have my protein waffles, so that's why this will come in handy. But that's literally it. I don't really, I have to really look at this carefully because if somebody else used this, I'm returning it to Amazon. Because that's disgusting. I might give this to my parents if I don't feel like using it because they need a new toaster anyway. Okay, it's new, It's it's new. Return before, remove before using. So it's, it's, it's new. Yeah, there are no crumbs in here. I was about to say. It's probably not gonna stay on the countertop because I hate how much space it's already taking up, but that's all for now. Okay, who is texting me? You just think I had a man. I ain't got no man. Oh my God. All right, I already know what these are. And I 
and I don't like it. These are the Vomeros. I'm not a fan of the red. I don't know why their shoes always look lopsided in the back. Like, doesn't this side look higher than this side? All of them come like that. But I don't know how I feel about these. I have to sit on them. They might be a return. So I'm not gonna mess up the box. These are another pair of sneakers. These are the Palominos. They just came out. I don't plan on wearing these until like fall, fall, so I'm not really bothered. These are a keeper. So a lot of the times when I buy stuff like this, I wanna put it on my other page on Instagram, but I don't want people questioning why I shop so much because it's just like, why is this your business? You don't ask me how I budget, how I save, how I keep the roof over my head, but you're worried about why I shop so much. So a lot of times I don't really share it anymore because I'm tired of getting questions. So you guys get to see it. And that is all for the purchases. Until my mop gets delivered. I'm not playing with Amazon. They don't pick up trash till tomorrow, so I'm gonna go put these in the closet. Um, until tomorrow evening. Now to go make space in my closet for this. Whew, Okay, you guys, I thought I was going to go out, um, take myself out on a little date, but the weather is literally taking a turn for the worse. It's raining. I don't know if you guys, yep, yeah, you can see it. Um, it's raining and they're calling for like severe thunderstorms and flooding. So I'm just gonna sit my little ass in the house where it's dry. I'm gonna order some food because it's my high carb day and I deserve that. So I'm gonna order some food pick some old movies and watch and yeah just chill till tomorrow i think i'm supposed to be doing brunch with my best friend tomorrow so we shall see all right empty still something there It is pouring out here. Pouring. I'm staying home. I was gonna order food, but there's food at home. That's the motto for this week. So I'm gonna eat what it is that I have in the house instead of ordering food. So I made a quick peanut butter soup. And now all I have left to do is really just fold my laundry. I'm not gonna mop my floor until Amazon delivers my Swiffer. And that's it. Okay guys, so I look so greasy, but it's cause my skin is like super moisturized. Anyway, Amazon delivered my mom late as hell but it's here so I guess if I want to I can still mop the floors today but I think I'm gonna end up doing it tomorrow in the morning because I'm tired of cleaning 
I folded my laundry. I have one more load in the dryer. I made some soup to have with my basmati rice for dinner. Today was a productive day, you know? I'm gonna do a little reading once I eat dinner. It's 6.10 now, so I'm gonna have dinner after I finish folding. I'm just mad that the rain kind of messed up all the plans that I had for today because I really wanted to do a lot today. I wanted to get my car washed. I wanted to go out and just grab a bite. I just didn't want to be in the house, you know? But the rain said, <laughs> no. Because if you go out, you're going to eat junk food and blah, 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 blah. So here we are in the house folding laundry like the old lady that we are becoming. It's okay. It is okay. My waistline is happy. Cause I didn't even need it. I didn't I didn't even need it, you know? Alright. You know what's weird when you like wash your socks and they disappear. I know they said there's like something it happens, something in the dryer eats it up or whatever, but it's like why fix it? Because why am I losing socks? Fix it, Jesus. Ugh. All right, I'm about to just put all this stuff away. This is what it currently looks like. So, everything is basically folded. I was watching this girl on TikTok. Um, I just have to put it all away. Still watching football. I'm probably gonna tune it off because I'm tired. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I'm watching Warrior Nun. I'm catching up on season two. I made myself some skinny popcorn and I'm having a little glass of wine. And then I'm gonna go to bed because it is 9.34. You can't really see that, but yeah, this is my dessert. As we wanted them to, and they may not be everything that we wanted them to be. And if we're not careful, so careful with our souls, the devil will set up camp in that disappointment and say, you have no one. But they were the one. They were the one for a while. Look at what they added to your life. Yeah, but they betrayed me. It was Judas that got Jesus to the cross. He was the one that God used more than any of the other disciples because it was Judas that God used to get Jesus to the place where he paid for your sins and mine. Even the people that hurt you, God used. I don't say that coldly. And not only those Good that are gone. Good morning. Not only the people that plant the It seeds, is not, not everybody 1041. I just came back from the apartment gym. I was doing my one hour of cardio. I woke up in a really like, I just woke up really irritated and just annoyed at life. And I didn't want to do my cardio, but consistency is not perfection, it's just effort, you know? So I went downstairs and I put in as much effort as I could and I got it done. I did three miles and I feel good. The sermon that Pastor Furtick is giving right now is just everything. Um, it's, it's literally everything that I needed and more and didn't know I needed and I think that's what kind of helped my mood because I was just like, I'm over this day. I'm going to keep my phone on do not disturb. I don't want anybody talking to me. Um, like I was just so annoyed and I know it's my hormones, but I was just so annoyed. I'm thankful that I decided to tune in because just from worship all the way to the sermon has been really amazing. Um, I did share a clip, but yeah, so I'm about to finish my cleaning since my mop is here. I'm going to finish my cleaning. And then I'm going to take myself out to breakfast. I have a few places around me that I can go to. So I am just gonna pack up my iPad, a few books, and go get something to eat, sit outside, enjoy the cooler weather, read, and just relax, you know? That's my weekend. It's not super exciting, but I think for weekends, as an adult, the best thing you can do for yourself is savor every moment because the weekend does not last. It's here today and gone just like that. So I'm gonna finish cleaning and then clean up myself and then head out to brunch 
or early lunch, whichever. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so the house is not really disorderly. I was good last night while I watched my movies. I just had to put the wine away, put the popcorn buckets that I used away, mop the floors, and then I'll be good. For the priests, the descendants of Aaron who have been consecrated to burn incense. Leave the sanctuary. You've been unfaithful. You don't be honored by the Lord God. The kings weren't allowed to burn this incense. It was for the priests to do. You know, you always get in trouble when you try to do what God calls somebody else. Nope. When you start wishing you could be this one or that. Wow. And see, Uzziah was powerful. God called him. Don't, don't get it twisted. God anointed him. God put the crown on the head no matter whose hands he used. So I am, <laughs> church just finished. I'm about to make some coffee, some hot coffee because I'm in the mood for something warm. I'm probably still gonna get coffee when I go to brunch, but I'm just in the mood for something warm. And because it's still so gloomy outside, I'm just like, fall is here, hot drink season is here, make yourself a cup of coffee. So I'm gonna use my little plain mug today. such a better mood it's just crazy to me and I just keep sitting here thinking about that I'm like you really woke up so angry like I woke up really angry like really angry and I don't know why I know part of my hormones being a woman is so rough it's so rough but sometimes I really can't tell why I'm and then sometimes it's anger mixed with a lot of like just fear and I don't know what I'm afraid of it's not a nightmare type of fear. It's just un fear of uncertainty. And I feel like because I'm so focused on what the next day brings that I live in constant fear. And it's really debilitating because it's just like if you would just focus on today, like the day you wake up and open your eyes, Phoebe, just focus on that day. But I can never seem to do that. And it honestly, it makes life so hard because I'm constantly thinking about tomorrow, the day after the next day, the future. And it's just like, bruh, you literally just woke up out of bed. How are you already thinking about Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday? And I don't know how to like break that cycle because I'm so tired. I'm really tired. I'm tired. And the one thing that it makes really hard, you can't live in the moment and enjoy things because you're constantly thinking about the next moment, the next day. It just sucks. It just sucks. I just have to get that off my chest. But one thing that stuck out for today's sermon is limitation is not my legacy. And this fear or this uncertainty, it's not my legacy and it's definitely not my future. Something has got to give because I just don't know. I just don't know. I think it's you constantly see people moving in life and then you are constantly looking ahead to see like, am I going to reach that place that they're at tomorrow or the next day? Is that when I'm going to reach it? And it's just like, why are you doing that? 
Why are you doing that? You're basically putting, you're trying to, you're trying to figure out what God is doing in your life. <laughs> and you're never going to figure it out. Like, that's the truth. And I have to, like, come to terms with that. Like, you need to let go and just live and trust. Because, child, trust is hard. It's hard. Anyways, let me stop spilling my heart out and get back to cleaning. Okay, so I am basically done cleaning. That's the living area. Kitchen. Yeah, shoes are gone. The bathroom is also clean. I'm not turning on the light because it does that little weird. Oh wait, it didn't do it. Huh, here I am. But the bathroom is clean as well. Um, bedroom is clean. Another area of my apartment that needs a lot of work is my bedroom. I have been here, <laughs> it's gonna be a year next month, and this is it. I have a bed and I took that table from my old, from my bedroom in my parents' house when I used to live with them, and I use it for my ZZ plant. But that's it. This is terrible because there's so much I want to do, but because I'm so indecisive, I cannot make up my mind. So what I have decided is, I think I know where I'm going to go. Um, I ordered a nightstand off of Amazon. I don't want it anymore because it's white. And I know for a fact I don't want a white nightstand. I think I'm probably going to go with like a charcoal gray to match my bed or black to match my mirror. This right here, this, 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 that, that is just a mess. I, I tried with the makeup and it just, it looks horrible. So I'm not even going to. I am going to get a dresser to put it right here because my closet is a mess. Um, but that's not even what we're here for, you know. This is the hell that I call closet. <sighs> it's just really bad. I need a dresser. And I know for a fact that if I was to get a dresser, stop that, it would fix a lot of the issues that I have with my closet. Um, when do I plan on getting a dresser? When I make up my mind about my bedroom and the color scheme that I want to go with. Because that's what's killing me. I just... I don't know what color I want to go with. I don't know. I need advice because what, what do I do? My bed is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And I love the gray, but I don't know. Oh, I think I'm, I don't know. But anyway, the house is clean. Okay. So I am, I was about to check the time, but I don't have my watch on. I'm trying to figure out what to wear for brunch. Um, I have all my starfish. I have my Gucci bag and then this bodysuit, but for some reason I just don't like how it looks. I don't know what it is. Um, this bag, I love the color, but matching it is always so hard. I haven't worn it since I bought it because I just don't know what to wear with it. And I'm just like, dude, you have to wear it. Like, you can't buy stuff and not wear it just because. So, I'm going to do a trial run. I don't think I'm going to change. I think I might throw on like a jean jacket. But I'm not really a fan of this outfit. Okay, I like this better. I really like this better. Honestly, I think I'm just obsessed with my legs. I have really nice legs, so summer's over. It's almost over, so why not show it off? And it's still like the purse still works because my shoes are orange, purse is orange, so. And I got my little brown to match the handles. So yeah, this is 
gonna be the fit for the day. I don't know if I'm gonna throw a jacket on. Let me ask Alexa what. Okay, so according to Alexa, it's 73 or 76 degrees, one of the 70s. I think this is okay. I don't really have a jacket that I can put over it that is not a jean jacket, and I'm not trying to do the jean on jean look. Um, and I don't feel like putting a button up over it. Oh, I don't know. This looks really, really good. Like, it's making me smile. You're not supposed to wear, like, tight. So, I'm trying to, like, get better at dressing. And what I've read is when you wear something form-fitted, you want to wear something baggy over the top. This is obviously not baggy. But I feel like it still works. I don't know. Maybe I could throw on a sweatshirt. Yeah, let me try a sweatshirt. This looks a mess. This looks a mess. Like, what? It doesn't look horrible. But it means I can't carry my bag because I just feel like it's doing too much. Like, I want to be dressy, but then the bag is... I feel like if the sweatshirt was a little bit more chocolate, it's like a... It's a... It's like, I don't know, faded type of brown, and I'm not a fan of it. So, yeah, no. I think I'm going to leave it as is, you know. I'm going to carry um, a jacket with me. Just in case I sit inside and it gets a little cold, but this is the outfit. I'm tired of changing. I'm probably going to change the straps on my bag to make it all orange, but this is the fit. I like it. Yep, so this is it. Still looks good. Um, I'm probably going to carry my leather jacket, maybe, or just a cardigan. I don't know, but I'm going to hold something. This is just telling me that I need to go shopping for like essentials, like, you know, a black cardigan, a brown cardigan, a cream cardigan, just so that when stuff like this happens, I at least have options. But other than that, I feel like I look good and I'm comfortable, you know, and then because my skirt is a little snug, I'm not going to overeat. <laughs> but yeah, time for brunch. Okay, I changed. The jean on jean works. I gotta fix this, but it works. It works, it works, it works, excuse me. I have on the body, so I don't know why I'm worried. But it looks good. Ugh. I'm so proud of my um, dressing because it's evolving so much. And things that I used to be afraid of like wearing or just venturing into, I'm trying it. Hold on one second. Okay, like I was saying, things that I was afraid of like trying or doing with my dressing, I am being more adventurous and I'm trying them. And I'm just really happy and like low-key proud of myself because... I used to love fashion like I used to love at one point in my life I wanted to be a fashion designer and my dad killed those dreams but I used to love fashion and I'm slowly getting back to that love slowly I hate how the fold is doing this but it's cool I'm definitely gonna take a picture for Instagram because this is a great outfit I'm already getting hot so that means I'm not sitting outside I'm gonna sit inside but I just wanted to update you guys that I changed my fit and I like this one better So I'm going to the Barking Mad Cafe. These are the leftovers I have from brunch. Carnita, breakfast tacos, eggs, carnitas, cheese, cilantro, with chipotle sauce. And then I have leftover turkey bacon. All right, so I'm back home. I picked up some Starbucks before I came home. I got, they spelled my name wrong, but whatever. I got a grande cold brew with sugar-free vanilla and a little bit of half and half. Changed into my Patriots jersey because it's Sunday football. Football season is officially back. I'm about to plop myself on the couch and just start catching up because they're like 18 playing right now. It's so crazy. I was trying to watch some of the games while I was eating, but it was just too loud. But... I'm home. I'm probably going to do some editing while I'm watching the game just so I can get ahead of it. But yeah. Hey now. Alright you guys. So the game is over. My team did not win. But they played so well. Last season was horrible. Like I, I it was horrible. But this being the first game and they played like this. I'm excited to see what the next games are going to look like. Ignore what you see in the background. I tuned into the Warrior Nun just to catch up. Um, but oh my gosh, the game was so good. It was so good. I couldn't record myself while watching it because I was all over the place, but the game was so good. 
Um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the cleaning video that's going to follow. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you have been here, thank you for sticking around. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And then share this with your friends so they can share it with their friends. And I will see you guys in the next video because guess what? She's a consistent queen. Second video of the month. I told you I was going to upload four times this month. I might even do more than four, but right now let's shoot for four. Okay? Consistent queen. Anyways, you guys have a blessed week because tomorrow is Monday. Um, You guys have a blessed week. Can you believe tomorrow is September 11th? Oh my God. Anyway, have a blessed week. Be safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You are the last warrior now.